Okay, so you've been asked to share a Canva link with somebody so that they can provide you feedback or edit your document, or you want to share it so that others can view it or edit your document. Super easy, you just go to share. From inside the design studio, you go down to share a link to, and you can choose a template or view or edit. In this case, let's say you want to send it so somebody can edit the document, copy link, and then just forward them that URL that has been created. You can also do this by going to your dashboard and within that, click on the image that you want right there, sort of with the three dots, and you can go to share, click on that, it's going to ask you, do you want to, again, use template, view, or edit, in this case, copy the link, and send that to the person. Now there's a couple of other cool things that I'm gonna show you in this video, so stick around if you wanna learn more. Okay, so what's up everybody? Dr. Craig Ingstrom here, but you can just call me Craig because we're now social acquaintances. In this video, I'm going to be covering that share edit link. The reason I'm doing this is because I've had a few people reach out to me recently and say, hey, I'm trying to do this in Canva. Do you have any ideas? I've asked them to explain it to me. I've asked them to send me screenshots. And sometimes I still can't quite understand what they're asking. So I've asked them to send me an edit link and sometimes they don't know how to do it. So the thought, hey, at least at the very least I can create a video and they can then I can send them to that video to show them how to do it. So that's why I started off with just the basic task of how to actually share and edit something. There are a few other things worth note that you might want to consider. So like say for example, you don't want to share an edit link, but you do want people to be able to see it. So what you could do is you, you can go over to the three dots here. You can click on share link here and do note though that it will change it from a private view to a public view and they say that this is irrevocable. So just FYI there, but again, what you could do is share the link that way. Um, when you share it with people, just so that you can see what they would see, if it's an edit link, it will basically say that you're being invited to edit this design. And it actually will say who it was originally created by. And so it sort of tracks, you know, who's the original owner of the design, which I think is pretty cool. So for example, I'm the original creator of this one. If I copy the link and basically do that again, and not my former student who um, was sending me some documents, it'll say it was originally created by Craig Ingstrom. So it will uh, sort of retain that. Now, one thing to note is that the um, edit button here, when you share it, it will actually uh, allow them to edit it and it'll sort of retain that those changes. So what I would recommend is you make a copy. So you would go over to file and then just make a copy of the design and then share out that link. So that way you always have sort of an original version. Something that's really cool about editing, and this is why I think having folks that are watching the channel that want some feedback or inputs, send me the link and then I can actually join them on like a call. And then as I'm making changes, they can actually see, and I've done this a lot as a, teacher in my courses when I'm teaching some things related to design or presentations or with folks who are working for me and I want them to kind of see the changes so it really can function as a teaching tool because as the changes are made just like in say Google Docs or Word Online you will actually see so let's say for example I moved this over if the person had their canvas open in the design studio they would actually see that move in pretty much real time. So that's pretty cool. Of course, there are a couple of other ways that you can just share to get feedback without them editing. And again, one way is to go to share. And then rather than creating a link for editing, you just create a link for viewing and they will be able to see that sort of in their, their screen. So I'm just going to a private screen so that it shows you what it would look like. So even for somebody that is not logged into Canva, they can look at it, which makes it a really great feature. If you're just trying to get feedback from somebody that doesn't want to sign up for Canva. Another cool way to sort of do this is to come over to here to the three dots. And again, you can actually share from here. And if you click that share link, do note that it says this is irrevocable. It will not, it'll change it from public uh, to, or from private to public. So uh, just take note of that. So another cool thing that you can do is you can click on the copy to clipboard, click on it magically copies it and then what you can do is say go to a word document and just paste it into there and send it to somebody for feedback and say a pdf or a word document you can file save as a pdf okay so those are some pretty easy and cool features a couple of other things to note is let's say you're in your dashboard 
you can go to shared with you and you can see all of the images and, and designs that have been shared with you over time. If you have premium and you have a team put together, one nice thing is that the documents that are being created by your team will be shared and stored in the, do in the folder so everybody has access to the team's creations. So that's very helpful. Another great thing about Teams is that they have access to your brand, right? So under the brand kit, if you have the premium, has all of your logos. And if you dial down, it has your colorways, your color palettes and so forth. So it just makes creating designs a heck of a lot easier. A big fan of premium. Uh, I understand $119 per year can be costly and it's $119 per user up to five. So it can get quite costly very quickly. That's pretty much it in terms of being able to share. Uh, the main point of this video was to just show you how to share the edit link. If for some reason you have questions or you want me to help you out, this is going to be the best way for you to do that. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss future uploads. Check me out on LinkedIn. Uh, that's a great way to follow or connect with me as well. And until the next video, I do hope that you have a wonderful day.